Get it. Hi, I'm Justin Natalie, here to do an addendum to the presentation video. Uh, so one question that I'm here to answer very specifically is, I have an application uh, on previous OS's or previous runtimes, I would have used a discard swap chain and I presented as fast as I possibly could. Uh, what can I do on Windows 10 with E3.12 to get unblocked frame rates, to get maximum performance presenta uh, presentation performance? So we have a couple suggestions, a couple options that you can take. Uh, the first option is to use a uh, full screen swap chain and go for true immediate independent flip. This is basically, you've got your buffers and they go straight to the screen. There are zero copies involved. This is a flip operation. This is the best performance that you can possibly get. This is going to mimic uh, all previous runtimes full screen performance and you will have unthrottled frame rates. Uh, the advantage to using iFlip versus true full screen is that if there's some system UI that needs to be composed on top of your window, it can be. But everywhere else, you should get true, uh, the same performance that you would get with full screen. Uh, the second option is you could emulate what would happen with a windowed blip model swap chain on previous OSs. Basically, you render to an off screen surface, and then as part of the present operation, you copy into an intermediate, which is your actual swap chain, and then that gets shared with the compositor. Or if you do end up in dflip or iflip, it gets shared directly to the screen. Uh, if you do this, the only thing that you need to make sure is that for Windows 10 RTM, you do need to lock this copy to approximately 60 hertz. There's a couple ways to do that. You could try to manually set up your own timer, or you can use the weightable object swap chain to test if a buffer is available before doing this copy. Uh, there's a couple other more advanced techniques that you can use. I've posted about them on the forums already. Uh, one technique is you can actually just have a bunch of buffers in your swap chain, and you can use the weightable object to test whether it's safe or not to present. Uh, basically, the actual technique's a little bit complicated, but you need something like four buffers in your swap chain, and if you set your frame latency to two, then you can get approximately unthrottled presentation without having any GPU stalls and without having any CPU stalls. And basically, if your weightable object, uh, you wait on it with a timeout of zero, and if you get back that it timed out instead of successfully waiting, then all you do is you just skip the present and re-render the same frame into the same buffer. And the logic's pretty straightforward. You can implement it all inside the present operation in your engine. Uh, and uh, one other technique that you can use is pretty similar. Um, basically, you have, actually I think over here is off camera, you have a bunch of buffers. Uh, you can do this with the two buffer swap chain and the weightable object. And when you render your scene, you can test at the beginning when you're about to render into your back buffer uh, whether or not a buffer is available. If a buffer is available, you want to render your contents into here. And if a buffer is not available, you want to render into an off-screen surface, which you're just going to throw away. Um, so this would basically just be your, your render loop at the beginning. You would choose which buffer you're going to render it into. If you don't have a back buffer ready uh, that uh, you will be able to render into in an unblocked manner, then you can render off-screen instead and just throw that frame away. Uh, all of these techniques should be able to get you an unblocked frame rate. Obviously, the ideal one is to use full screen independent flip immediate, but all these other techniques, depending on where they fit into your engine, are viable alternatives. Hopefully that answers your question, and uh, I'll see you next time.